Hey, what's up guys? This is Team Hard Life Captain Albert Sakucha here and this is a little workout routine that I do. It's a 10 pound dumbbell and I do curls, I do tries, I do some shoulder workouts and some other stuff. This is a workout routine that I started doing this year. Um, I really had to change up my game and what I'm doing, how I'm doing it because at the end of the day, basically I, I have to rely on myself and I'm not as young as I used to be, so I'm definitely having to work a bit harder to make sure I can stay on top of my game. And this is one of the things I'm doing right now. Got a lot of stress on my mind. It's a nice day to go. Yeah, I got a line. I'm a caller, the whole team. And this workout routine is something that I truly felt helped me out and um, the reason I really believe that is because um, when I was doing that fishing tournament in Galveston or in um, Freeport uh, my harness broke on me and all I had was the butt plate so I had to hold the rod fight the shark and crank all at the same time and you know and this was on a T-Rex 130 the reel alone has weight plus filled with line and then attached to a rod and then with a the fish pulling on the other end was definitely not easy and you know I was able to do it without getting too worn now granted my back was given out toward the end of the fight and stuff like that but I was still able to hold on to the rod to make sure you know it didn't go flying in the water or worse you know something bad really happened what I normally try to do is do a workout or warm-up portion and it'll be 50 on each arm on curls and then I'll go to my tries and some more you know it's different things and stuff so you know one of the other things is still dealing with the kids that you know are in there because I haven't had time to go to a gym you know trying to still have family time and keep my health going up you know that was one of the major things is um, you know when you're out there and a lot of these tournaments if you cannot finish the fight and somebody else has to help you finish that fight on that shark then your catch is disqualified you cannot have anybody set the hook for you and when they do they automatically take over the catch um, or you know like I said if you give out or your body gets out you cramp up too bad to where you cannot finish the fight then you are kind of stuck you know you end up losing out and get disqualified because of it so my idea is to keep my upper body and obviously y'all know my lower body is great for kayaking and stuff like that um, but it's being able to do all that, you know, pumping and pulling and everything else that I got to do while I'm hooked up to a monster-sized fish or a shark. So, here we go.
So going through the workout, you'll see that um, my kids and nephews are around the house and playing about and stuff like that. But you got to stay focused and try to get these workouts done because, uh, like I said, for me, <clears throat> getting to the age I'm at, you know, it's, it's definitely not as easy to maintain uh, the muscle strength and all of that if you're not using it and putting it to use. And for me, the long uh, workout routines are what gonna really help me to build up the endurance that's the main thing the strength I, I, I got but it's building up the endurance to be able to hold that strength for a longer period of time and stuff like that so by doing you know 50 75 100 curls or 100 you know tricep workouts is what's really gonna keep my endurance level high and um, also keep me good to go to be able to get out there kayak come back fight a fish get out there kayak again and keep doing you know keep doing it you know um, for me the most back-to-back -back shark and kayaking trips I've ever done was three sharks five to seven foot and each bait was dropped out about 1500 yards on each one and you know as soon as I got to the beach within a minute or two 
um, I was hooked up and fighting another shark all the way to the beach and then we would tag and release it and everything and this was during the tournament as well so I'm not new to it but I also keep that in mind every time I go out that you know that's something that can and will happen so by doing like I said these workout routines and stuff like that it's also enabling me to be fit because like I said a uh, few months ago I was bending over to tie my shoes and I could not you know I could not breathe I had to hold my breath to be able to tie my shoes and that ain't cool so again guys we are coming up on our 15,000 subscriber next giveaway we're shooting for November 20th to give away four reels and four rods if we can make the 15,000 subscriber mark by that date if not, then we're going to give it two more months, but then the prizes drop down in half. And the reason we're doing that is because we're trying to get everybody to really, really put some forth, some effort to help us grow and stuff like that. Um, this weekend, we got the four winners from the 10K subscriber giveaway going on this fishing trip. And actually, Captain Eric is already throwing in, you know, if they're already in town or coming into town today, that they can go fishing with him today and then meet up with us tomorrow. So they're actually getting a bonus trip on top of this, which is pretty awesome. Um, on the drawings too, we currently have sold. All right guys, so with drawing number one, it's for an SX Raptor spooled with Cortland Hollow Core. We started off with 25 tickets, 19 have been sold. We have six left. Drawing number two is for an MXO Raptor spooled with Cortland Hollow Core. We started off with 27 tickets. 10 tickets have been sold. 17 are left. Drawing number three started off with 29 tickets for an LX Raptor fully spooled with Cortland Holocore braid. 12 tickets have sold. 17 are left. Once these drawings are sold out, either one of them, if drawing number one sells out here in the next hour, I will be going live to the YouTube channel. <clears throat> Granted, if any of them happen today, I will be going live. However, tomorrow morning, I'm going to be loading up with the guys to go down beach to go for our 24-hour shark fishing trip. If it happens to sell out before we leave, I'll go live. If not, then you will have to wait till Monday when I get back, and then we'll go live on Monday. But again, guys, if you want to get in on it, shop number is 361-334-2171 and or cash app at dollar sign team hard life. Be sure to include your cell phone number and which drawings you want to get into. Also, please remember, if y'all are new to the channel and you haven't subscribed and hit that thumbs up, please do so because that's going to get us to our next prizes. Once these drawings do sell out, we will restart a new one for whichever one started out. And we will change the number of the drawings so that way there's no mistaking. What I've also done too is switched up and marked the tickets so that way there is no confusion of which drawing we are doing or has been held so that way for future reference if i somehow forget to draw a secondary name or whatever i'm just going to get into practice right now of changing up the color of the tickets and right now i got a lot of tickets of the same color but what i've done is i've taken a picture of the tickets and marked them or mark them with a magic marker, a, a uh, highlighter marker, three different colors for each different drawing. Each drawing is specific to their color, so that way, if we do multiple drawings that day, we, there is no way we can mess this one up. So again, guys, uh, thank you for watching and chiming into the channel. Again, guys, this is a workout routine for me to build up my endurance because I desperately need to stay on top of what I am doing and. Where I'm planning to go because I am nowhere near done or ready to give up my reins and fishing for monster sized sharks. I want to keep going. I want to catch even bigger. And you know, my plans are to start traveling to go to different places, you know, fishing for Goliath grouper, fishing for monster hammers, for I don't know. It just, it don't matter. If it, the, tu the, the tug is my, my addiction there, guys, and I desperately need to fill it. I really want to get going, get on it and keep trying new things you know whether it be fresh water whether it be salt water i'm going to get out there and try it and with y'all's support to the channel by subscribing you're really giving us a lot of ground with our subscribe our sponsors to be able to get more prizes and bigger prizes 
so each time we hit one of these marks it'll be an awesome awesome giveaway and actually I got to do an unboxing from all the twang products that was submitted to us for this weekend's trip and and then some so we can't wait twang also has provided the food uh, for the main portion of the trip uh, they're providing enough food for 20 people on this trip um, purchased through Rudy's barbecue which is also a part of the Rudy's Retro series and yes we are gonna be eating real good out there we're gonna have a lot of baits Captain Eric with Team Real Locos is also going to be up there and more than likely some of the Team Real Locos as well as some of the Team Hard Life and Prospects will be on hand for this trip and definitely we're going to try and record as much of it as possible so that way we can catch all those little things that we're passing on knowledge and or maybe just reminiscing of some different types of shark fishing trips that we've done or you know, it'd be a cool campfire deal. So stay tuned, guys. We are almost there. I'm really excited. And again, thank you very much. And be sure to keep passing on the word on the channel, guys. I'm putting in the work to make sure it happens.